year we've been following the year 1985 that seems to be a good year for you um but it's also the year of live aid so tell me how the, where which were you in london were you in philly or wh where where were you what uh what, what struck out for what struck your memory stuck yeah. out stuck out stuck out uh, yeah so do this diagrammatically so this is 1981 this is the start of my career this is 1992 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, whoa, oh, 86, 87, 88, 89, 82, until it's gone off screen. Um, yeah, I, I was kind of on the top of the world in 85, you know, did that great shot of Annie Lennox at the Churchill Hotel, David Bowie's Loving the Alien, Single Sleeve. Um, when I look back at the 85 stuff, Tina Turner, I think, was in 85 in the studio, um, Live Aid. So I was hired by Smash Hits. I worked a lot for Smash Hits, and, and they asked me to do the cover story, you know, the, the Live Aid cover feature. So you don't know at the time that it's going to turn out to be, you know, the biggest show in history. It was watched by 1.9 billion people. And bear in mind, there were only four or five billion people on the planet back then as well. So it was something like 40% of the world's population tuned in. So I was in London. I was at Wembley Stadium completely unaware really i think of what's going on in philly other than i think it was probably on the big screen if they had a big screen back maybe they didn't even have a big screen back then i don't remember i think they'd have gaps because there'd be music going on in philly and then it would cut back to wembley i never saw the the american the whole of the american version of live aid because i was oh, there all it was good it's worth seeing <laughs> yeah <I'm... laughs> you know there's that scene in bohemian rhapsody at Wembley, where the camera zooms over Wembley towards the stage, and you see the photo pit there, mm -hmm. and those people there is me. I mean, I could argue that someone played me in that movie. <laughs> nice. Now we're going to look for it. Dave's going to come through the footage, and he's going to look, and he's going to circle you, and we're going to post it. That's our guest this week. <laughs> I should have, I should have done some visual aids while we're talking, but um, on a laptop because I have some pictures. Um, some kind of fascinating pictures, but yeah, it it was. I mean, it was special, wasn't it? Um, now, most of most of my live aid pictures, like like most of the live aid photographers, have gone. They're literally gone. Um, my understanding is that the band they trust eventually just threw them all away. Wow! So, like, even uh, you you didn't have possession of of these photos, or what, you you gave them all to to live aid, or. So what would happen with Live Aid, uh, none of us got paid. We all donated our fees to the, you know, to Live Aid slash Band Aid, the Band Aid Trust. Um, and then I think we all agreed that once our papers or magazines had, had done their features, we would send all the best stuff over to, to Live Aid, which we did. And they used, they used a lot of my pictures in the book. If anyone has the Live Aid book out there or the Live Aid calendar, I ha actually have both um, at the gallery. Um, they used a quite a few of my pictures, but we never got our pictures back from them. And then over the years, I wondered what happened to it. And one of my friends, I think it was it was Andrew Catlin or Tom Sheehan, went to the Band Aid Trust, and they had these big garbage bags full of transparencies. And he said they weren't even in their mounts. I mean, there's no way to identify someone's photograph if it's a color transparency, except by the mount, because we'd have our own stamp and phone number and address and whatever on the mount. But once you take that transparency, which is basically just a positive negative, positive version of a negative, which is a stupid thing to say, but anyway, the trans <laughs> um, you take it out of the mount and it could be anyone's. I mean, we're all basically in the same spot taking the same pictures and they were just in these trash bags and then apparently they threw them all away. <sighs> Those trash bags were just tossed. And even if they weren't, no one would have known whose picture was whose anymore. So I'm lucky that I have a few fairly nice pictures from Live Aid, but I have one frame of Freddie performing on his own. I have none of Bowie. I have one of Bono, one of Brian Ferry, two of Adam Ant, um, a lot of other bands. I have virtually nothing, or I have just like crap, not not you know not the good stuff. George Michael, oh two man, two frames of Elton John, two two decent frames of Paul McCartney, 